Good afternoon everyone. Uh, today I'm just doing a few uh, jobs, just uh, finishing off a job here in the cow shed. The weather's not too flash. Uh, sort of just uh, showers blowing over. A good day to stay inside, but windy. So uh, what I've been working on yesterday and this morning uh, is I've just just done a bit of work here in the cow shed. So this water line here comes from a little pump over in the the machines room, which is just through the door there. Uh, it supplies water for um, a tap, just for you know washing out buckets, whatever you want to do. Uh, then you got the milk cooler tap, and then it runs along. And I've just put this basin in. I've just got this piece of steel clamped here to get the uh, the back of the sink to stick to the wall. Um, so you put a tap in and then it, it carries on going around and it comes over here and it fills our hot water cylinder and also fills the tub. So originally uh, it used to come in, I should have taken a before picture, but it used to come in and then it was alkathene pipes running over top of this this pipe over to the basin and there was one coming down filling the, the tub there. and. Uh, and going to the hot water cylinder and we didn't have a tub oh yeah just uh done it out of galvanized piping it's uh so it's a 25 mil line in and then i've just used one inch galvanized pipe so i got uh our uh, local shop in town to cut and thread all the ends for me and then i just got all the fittings to what i needed uh, it's going to be quite good having a basin here it's uh, been on our uh, job to do for a while so yeah, I made up these brackets, so it's just a piece of flat steel, it's holes drilled through for the dyno bolts and then a piece of pipe, why well, don't I just slide the, the water line through it. These dyno bolts are these ones, so that you can wind them in and out, they're just like a big threaded bolt. You just screw them in, so if I ever wanted to remove this I can just undo it and pull it all out. So yeah, it looks really good, heaps tidier, and it's going to be good to have a basin in. Uh, so yeah. Uh, gonna be pretty spoiled. Next thing I'm gonna do is I've uh, acquired a set of pallet forks. Uh, they used to have the uh, Euro hitch on it, uh, but I'm converting. I've got brackets for the Pearson quick hitch, so I'm gonna go and weld those on. All right, so these here are the uh, pallet forks that we acquired. Uh, they're obviously upside down at the moment because I've got to clean up these old Euro hitch brackets and then I've got to weld this Pearson quick hitch on so I'm probably going to have to put a piece of steel here to space it out a bit and uh, yeah the, these originally used to be adjustable pallet forks you could slide them you know to make them narrower uh, there used to be a piece of steel on here and then a big pin that goes through and there would be a sleeve on the back of this um, uh, the, the fork itself and you could slide it you know across but one of them was bent so I decided to just cut it off and um, just weld them on solid because most of the time very rarely you need it narrow very rarely you need it set narrow so I've just got to tidy this here up and I decided to leave these here because uh, you can either you know hook a chain through it or whatever you want to do they're not in the way there so these here are the Pearson quick hitch brackets so just buy them off trade me and uh, yeah just gotta weld them onto here so uh, we'll get started
get so sick of the wind when uh, making videos. I don't have any uh, microphone or a little fluffy on a microphone, so uh, if it's windy, the videos are just horrible. And just trying to stand out there explaining that the pins that stop the um, forks from falling off, uh, the holes are a bit tight, so I might need to file out the the holes a little bit just to get them to fit. But there's nothing major. Yeah, they turned out good. Didn't take as long as what I thought. Right, had enough of the wind, had enough of working down here. Gonna go home now. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you somewhere else on the farm.